So what we have here sometimes too, is you're pushing over to one side and this keeps everything tight. You've got the one over. Now the reason you put one over the keyway usually is because the end of the shaft has a keyway cut in it and that keyway will want to move out. You could push the, the shaft over and that keyway, you're putting one over the keyway to hold the key itself in is what you're trying to do. Now, if you use a captured key, you have your shaft is here and when you cut your keyway, instead of cutting it to the end, you stop at the end. Now your key is captured so that it won't come out. You don't need one over the top of the key. So that's an advantage there. And then actually you can put one here and here or do a shrink fit and other ways. And you actually get better holding than having one over the key because the movement of the key tends to make that screw come loose first. So you avoid that problem. It's not a terrible way, and it's the way it's done in industry 90% of the time. You'll have one already in the hub, whether they have a second one or not, that's over the key, because most of the stuff for quick, quick built stuff with generic equipment not uh, built for a manufacturer will be keyed out to the end. This will be pre-set up for a set screw so that it holds the key in. And another thing also that you can do along with that, say you have this situation, you don't have a key over that, um, it's not the end of the world. You can zap a little bit of weld on this so the key don't fall out too. It's another way that you can handle that without having to have a screw over it.